Hello, my people. Welcome to the Score Channel and welcome to the University of Indianapolis. We're located just about 20 minutes south of downtown Indianapolis, right off the highway, easy access. But is it easy to get in here? We're going to talk admissions with Kay Gunyan, who sat down with me to talk about the admission process and everything UND has to offer. So let's check it out. My name is Kay Gunyan. I'm the Director of International Admission for the University of Indianapolis. UND is a small to mid-sized university, about 5,600 students, 300 international students, generally from about 65 different countries, so quite a lot of variety. I really like the layout of the campus. It's very spread out and a lot of smaller buildings, so it kind of feels like a smaller campus, but in actuality, it's pretty big. I mean, take a look. I really get this like kind of a big high school vibe here. Like it feels kind of like I'm at a high school, but in just a bigger context. I don't know, it reminds me of my high school when I was in the States. But obviously they got more cooking here than whatever a high school would have. So we're gonna find out a little bit more about the place. We have over 100 programs, engineering, computer science, business, health sciences, kinesiology. We have sport management, sports communication, sports information, that's a journalism degree. So many I usually forget. It's a city of about 1 million. That's actually on the small side. The Midwestern US really costs less. Still a lot of opportunities for students, internships, jobs. The NCAA College Football Championship just happened a couple days ago here. The uh, Indy 500, one of the biggest sporting events in the United States, happens here every year. There's a ton of big sports events here, and so if you are interested in a sports career or participating as a student athlete, UND could be a great place for you. Indianapolis is actually a great city to study sports. The NCAA headquarters is here, some professional teams and amateur sport organizations as well. Our application process is free. That's the best thing about it. The second best thing about it is that it's quite easy, I think. It's really quite easy to manage. We don't require a lot. For a freshman or a first year student, we're just looking for the high school transcript as well as English proficiency results. On TOEFL, for example, our requirement is 61. We are completely test optional now, so SAT, ACT is not required. GPA, we just need a three out of four or equivalent to a USB. It's really simple. We do have pretty generous scholarships for international students. Freshman or first year student is automatically awarded an academic scholarship if accepted for admission. If you're an international student, UND could be a very affordable option for you. They have up to $20,000 in aid for international students every year. To put that in perspective, our tuition this academic year is about $32,000. Now you'll get that if you apply and have a good academic record. There are some other scholarships you might be able to compete for. We do have athletic grants as well. Those can be much larger, even up to full tuition. Those are awarded strictly by the coaches, so they will look for outstanding athletes in their sport. And then if they find a star who's really going to make a difference for their team, then they would award a, a larger scholarship. But they have a limited pool of funds, so once those are awarded, they're gone. Unlike NCAA Division III schools like Elmhurst or MSOE that we We've covered before, this school is a Division II school. Division II schools can give student athletes a full scholarship, so you could get free tuition here if you get in line with the coaches and show them your skills. Of course, you're going to want to make sure you apply earlier because that process is a bit complicated. It's something that we're going to cover soon on the channel, so make sure you guys are subscribed to see that when it comes out. We have about 21 sports. We see international students a lot in our tennis. Actually, I think our whole tennis team is international, perhaps soccer or football. Swim Swimming also has a lot of international students. I like this big open courtyard. 
I feel like they gotta have a bunch of fun events and traditions here. Like, I don't know what they are yet. Maybe we'll find out. Our favorite tradition um, is our celebration of the flags to represent all the students and, and faculty and staff. Students can volunteer to carry the flag for their country. Of course, those of us who work with international students, it's our favorite event, but actually it's the favorite event for a lot of people on our campus. And the best thing about UND, classes are really small. Our average class size is 17, so students really do get a lot of personal attention. And the other thing I really like about UND is I think we do a great job preparing students for careers. There are lots of internships available. Um, we have an outstanding career office. They start working with students even before they arrive. Many are very successful in their careers. There is not a deadline for our applications. We make decisions on a rolling basis. So as long as you can complete the whole process and get here before classes begin for a particular semester, you can enroll. Thanks so much for watching this video. Again, my name is Kay Gunyan. You can reach me via email at admissions-international at und.edu. Thank you, Kay, for taking the time to talk to me. I really appreciate you having me in. And if you guys are interested in applying to University of Indianapolis, you can go to their website, uindy.edu. You can find them on the Common App, or you can hit us up at prepwithscore.com to learn more about how we can help you prepare for your college applications. If you guys like these university tours, leave a comment below. Tell me where you want me to go next. I can show those screenshots to universities and be like, hey, you know, they want you. Let me in. Sometimes they say no when I ask. So if you guys say you want to go somewhere, I'll make it happen. I got one more university on this amazing Midwest tour and then I am done on this trip. Time to start putting in your requests for places you want me to go next. And I will see you next week.